What is going on guys, we have Blunder vs Pogius for a smoke on to a playoffs as I do start off with black and white. Blunder can get up a hazard here, most likely a spike. I think that's a Scarf Lando from Pogius' side. Uh, Pogius can now get a will here, spear, Blunder has no will with immunity as I assume Blunder is either going to knock or leech seed the, the Mew. So Blunder can now either leech seed or um, go into his Kyurem, I assume it's Kyurem is specs, the Alakazam is most likely Sash. And Porges aside, we have already seen it's most likely Scarf Landris. So I think that the Ladi is potentially Specs since the Lando is the Scarfer. As the Milowis misses, unfortunate there. He makes a nice play predicting the Kyurem double. So yeah, the Specs Kyurem can just spam Ice Beam here. Uh, I assume Porges is either going to softball to Skull, but Kyurem locks itself into, or go hard to Rotom expecting Ice Beam. Kyurem is a threat for sure in this game. Yeah, since the, the lander was a uh, scarf on, on Poja's side, right? I assume that the the Ferrothorn is gonna have spikes, the the, the Tita is gonna have rocks. And he does what the fuck? His Mew was slower and he gets frozen. That's super unfortunate. So now uh Poges is gonna go into Rotom Wash here on the on the ice beam. Lana's just gonna ice beam again most likely. Um this Mew is like most likely only gonna only um useful as death for uh, at this point. That's really annoying for Poges because Mew was like, Mew would have could have put in some work with Blunder for sure. Um, if it had that Wisp, the Kyurem would have already gotten chipped down. So Blunder is most likely going to switch into Ferrozone. Ferrozone is already burned, right? So there's no reason to risk getting your Kyurem burned. Um, he's also locked into Ice Beam. I assume Rotom does carry Pain Split in Black and White as well. I don't play Black and White myself, but I think they also carry Volt, um, Pain Split. So he just Volts, which is expecting the Ferrozone makes the correct play there. Uh, you can either go Ladi here if you have HP Fire, or you can, I guess, let go. Okay, Tita. Tita sometimes carry Fire Blast, but I assume Poges is just gonna get up his rocks here. Uh, Blana's not gonna stay in fearing Fire Blast. Uh, Ferrozone is quite annoying for Poges, especially because um, it has knockoff. It can also knock off uh, Poges' Ferrothorn. Um, definitely nice uh, utility to get rid of the, the opposing Ferrozone leftovers. That would be useful for Blunder. Uh, suppose just gets up rocks. I think Blunder's gonna get up rocks now. I don't know if like the like, Chopperberry is quite common on Tita, um, but and Tita also like um, tend to carry super power, right? So I'm expecting Poges to is to potentially go for super power here. Let's see if Blunder's Chopperberry. Not Chopperberry, just gets blown away. Uh, so Blunder's not gonna go into Scarf Land, right? If like if he's Scarf, um, like he doesn't have to be Scarf, but like I'm kind of thinking he's Scarf because. That's a, that's a speed control, right? Yeah, should be Scarf. So he's gonna U-turn here. Poges can just sack his Mew because the Mew is frozen and it's like super low after Hazard, so it's not gonna do much. So he's just sacking the Mew to get momentum back. Uh, it's a fine play to make. But I just U-turn. It's kind of confirming that he's Scarf. I think Scarf Lando uh, in Black White carries like U-turn, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and I think HP is right? Because HP is like 70 base power in Black White. And it's really nice for like uh, Garchomp opposing Landos. So he goes into Alakazam here, has the Magic Guard ability. I think it's a Sash, uh, doesn't take any um, Sandstorm or Rocks damage. So Poges can now go either to his Scarf Lando and U turn out, or if he's Choppleberry, he can go to his Tyranitar. Uh, he goes into Tita, so that makes me think, like I said, he's Choppel. Because Focus Blast, um, now Blunder has to hit two Focus Blasts, which is like, mo who hits two Focus Blasts? It's super unlikely. He hits the first one, there's the Pursuit, there is the Focus Sash. So Blunder has to hit another Focus Blast here. Poges obviously stays in because um, I think he would die to Hazards if he switches, yep. So Blunder does connect. Um, Poges can go to Scarf Lando here and U turn. Blunder's gonna keep this Alakazam around, it can still put in some work. Um, especially, um, like, if it has Shadow Ball, it can kill the Latios. If it has, uh, yeah, we obviously have seen it has Focus Blast, so it can hit the Ferrothorn, and Ferrothorn is annoying for Lunder's team. So yeah, I don't think he's gonna sack this. He can either go to his own Lunder's, or he can go to his Starmie, I guess. Because Starmie doesn't do much this game. Like, now Starmie gets off a spin, because it outspeeds the entire team, other than the Lunder's, and the Lunder's is not in, so it, it Starmie still gets off the spin, and then it dies to, like, a Power Whip, or, I guess, Leech Sheet could come out as well. But, like, Starmie wasn't gonna do much this game, so I get that play. So he's just gonna spin here. And yeah, this Ferrozone is a nuisance to Blunder's team. Mew also would have been a nuisance, but he was able to freeze the Mew, which sucked a lot. 
Uh, so he does get off the spin. We see a leech here power up. We do see a leech seed. So Storm is gonna go down to the sandstorm anyways because of the iron bob. So it didn't even matter if it got seeded or if the power up missed there. So Blanda goes on the cure. He's either gonna ice beam or HP fire. Uh, let's see if Porges has protect to scout, but even if he doesn't have protect, um, he should just leech seed here, I guess. Well, let's go for Ice Beam. Um, yeah, but the thing is, they have Protect Leftovers, and if he Leech Seeds here, the Kyurem is going to be super annoyed. So, yeah, we'll definitely go for Leech Seed here. From Poges. Um, yeah, I would say Bernard's probably just going to go for Ice Beam and see how much it does. It's probably going to do like 50 ish. A bit more than 50. Maybe 60. Kind of depends on the first spread, obviously. Um, but yeah, if Ice Beam doesn't do enough with the Leech Sheet and Lefty Sealing um, approaches too much, then Blana might have to go uh, either to his own Pharaoh Thorn and try to knock off this the opposing Pharaoh Thorn. Or he might have... If he has Super Power on Lander, that's also an option um, to do Scare of the Pharaoh Thorn. Oh yeah, Gems are also a thing in Black White. I don't know, I don't know much about Gems at all. I know it's kind of like Z moves, but they, I think they activate the first time when you use a certain move that gets boosted by a Gem. And with Z moves, you can choose when they activate. It was a bit different. But the approach should just lead sheet and not sure why it's taking so long here. There's the ice beam that's 55. But the thing is, uh lead sheet plus leftovers plus this ferrothon having protect. Um yeah, Blana doesn't appreciate this, so I think Blana's gonna switch. So a really nice play would be here. I'm um, to lead sheet again for Poges. Uh, yeah, like like I said, he's either gonna go Feral Thorn or to his own land. Though. Like depending on if his land has super power. If his land doesn't have super power, then he's just gonna go Feral Thorn and try to knock this. Um, I mean, he could also go Zam because he has Magic Guard, but I don't think that's the play because then you risk hitting Focus Blast. You already had two Focus Blasts on Titar, and like I said, Galakazam is useful as it can just safely um, kill the Ladi with Shadow Ball later in the game. Um, if it comes to that, like if this Feral Thorn ever dies. Uh, Alakazam pretty much puts in work for Blunder whenever it comes out on a Lari. On the Lari. Did I say a Lari? <laughs> well, yeah, I think Blunder's definitely gonna switch. Yeah, Poe just has the option to protect Breaking Blunder, stay in all the leech she put in the switch. Um, I guess if you predict if you predict Blunder to go into Ferrothorn, then Poe just could also go for like a spike here. I didn't even know if he has spikes because he was leech she protect. So I like I don't know if he has space to fit spikes in that move set, but the opposition has no hazard control, so these hazards are here to stay. This I mean he has two uh, three months that don't get hurt by spikes at least. But yeah, this game is looking um, to be in Blunder's favor. If he gets rid of the Ferrothorn, his Scarf Lander is looking like a big threat, and like I said, I like them if it comes on Ladi looking like a threat, and his Qum is still also valuable. But, like, if Rotom gets a bit lower, Kyurem pretty much gets killed with Ice Beam. Or, like, it doesn't even have to risk missing Draco later in the game. Which is why he should switch. So he goes on a land, though, which may, uh, that makes me think he has super power. Porges can just protect again here, I guess, to scout. So now the um, Porges uh, Landorus or Porges Ladi is really obvious here. So Blanda might double out predicting that. But the thing is, if um, the Feral switches out, it's nice for Mana because when it comes back in, it has to take rocks and spikes. Which is at least something. Some, some nice chip on a Mana that is super annoying to your team is always appreciated. But I can definitely see Blunder doubling out because the, the thing is obvious. The Ladi or the Lander, like I said. I guess Feral Thorn is a potential play for Blunder here. Because if you super power here and uh, Porges goes to Ladi, um, Blana doesn't have a Draco switch in, um, especially if it's specs. So if he goes hard, um, if he has his Ferrothorn in on the Ladi already, then um, he can play around that better because then he can still scout for HP fire. Or like, Porges will not go for Draco um, when the Ferro is in. So Blana does predict the Ladi goes in the Ferrothorn, makes the play that I was talking about. So Porges is. Um, Potentially gonna go for HP fire here, if he has it. Um, so Blana should scout for that. 
Because the Pharaoh Zone is like still nice to keep around. Um, to be annoying with Leech Sheet. And potentially knock off Poges is a uh, Feral Thorn. I think I disconnect because the smog on the smog to chat is not moving anymore. So let me pause it real quick. And then we we're gonna rewatch the turns that we will have missed when we are back. One second, guys. Okay, so we are back and he just um scouted for HP Fire going to Landris. Oh it's not it's not HP Fire, what am I saying? Is HP fighting question mark? So Blana just U-turns out with Scarf Landris on the Ferrothorn, and now this Ferrothorn is in range from Specs Kiram's Ice Beam. Um, I'm sorry, by the way, that the side switched. Um, when I refreshed my my Thmoctus, the side switched. I'm gonna switch it back after we are when we're back live on track. So yeah, Ice Beam um, pretty much gets a kill here. Yep. That was that was interesting. The hidden power was resisted by Landris, so I guess it was hidden power fighting for Tita. Like I don't, I'm not sure what else it would be. You guys can um, correct me in the comments. But yeah, um, Nadi clicks Draco here. Like, Kyurem is still valuable, because so, um, like, it pretty much gets kills with Draco or Ice Beam. So, Blunder is still gonna keep this around, I assume. Blunder is gonna sack his Ferrothorn here and then go on the Alakazam. I mean, f yeah, let's let's switch sides back. Like, Ferrothorn can, um, I think, still live a Draco, but I think it gets 2 KO, right? The thing is, if Poe just clicks Draco twice, he 2 KOs the Ferrothorn, then. Blana goes and then like Blana pretty much gets a kill afterwards because um, he goes into Scarf Lando afterwards or into Alakazam and then he like if he goes into Lando he clicks U-turn and Poges either has to sack the Ladi or if Poges goes to uh, no no Alakazam yeah never mind never mind I was I was gonna say Poges um would I, I would I was gonna say uh, if Blana U-turns on the opposing Lando that would let the cure in but I forgot that Poges um that Poges Lando is scarfed as well. So like Alakazam would have been the better play for Blunder if he um you didn't under opposing that. Like if he oh god, I messed up guys, it's whatever. But pretty much um Poe just didn't want him to get the Alakazam in on the Ladi because that would have meant that Blunder would have gotten a kill. But going Rotom also doesn't accomplish much because now Blunder can just go to cure him. Or um if Hydro Pump doesn't kill. Um, Blana can also break the Volt Switch here and uh, go for Leech Shit again. Um, yeah, like, I don't really see Blana losing this game unless he gets uh, Reverse Hexed. So he's just going to Kyurem here. With the Leech Sheet, like Rodon being Leech Sheet, it means that Blana can also just go for Ice Beam. He doesn't have to risk Draco missing. But yeah, considering that I don't know much black and white, um, I feel like I still did a good job in with this narration. Um, I, still had, I obviously had like the little mess up there just a second ago, but it's fine. Not really a mess up, but just like I confused something. So he does get another freeze. <laughs> I don't think it mattered at that point, but Poge's only way of winning is um, Stone Edge critting everything with Scarf Lando at this point. I mean, obviously, Gladi gets a kill with Draco here, but. Then Blunder goes into Alakazam, clicks Shadow Ball, and the Ladi's gonna die, right? So Draco kills the Farothorn, um, Sam is gonna come out and click Shadow Ball, right? Poge is then gonna go into his Scarf Lando, and like I said, he has to Stone Edge crit through Blunder's Intimidated, it's like through Blunder's Lando. Um, crit will definitely will definitely kill the Blunder's Lando because um, black and white crits are, are two times stronger. Like and like in Gen Six, the mechanic changed, so like crits are only 1.5 the damage now, but in black white it was 2.0. Yeah. So Poge has to Stone Edge here. And then he also has to crit the Blunder's Lando. I mean, even the 1.5 crit would probably also kill Blunder's Lando. But I'm just saying, like, crits in Black White are stupid strong. Because <laughs> I, I don't really remember how healthy Blunder's Lando is, but I think it was at, like, 60-ish. It's definitely in range from a crit. I mean, crit might even kill from full a Black White crit. through Intimidate, yeah. Ah, uh, prob probably from full it wouldn't kill, maybe. Eh. But definitely, um, Poge's only win count is a crit at this point. Okay, it's at 50, okay. So he does dodge, and Blana just wins here, clicks HP eyes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna be back with game two, that is either gonna be um, Gen 6 or Gen 7. Poge's is gonna decide. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Smash that like button. Uh, more S2's content is gonna be coming. Have a fantastic day, and peace out, friends. Hope